I wanted to try out some Milotic. We haven't seen this Pokemon really at all this generation in a new. I think we all know why. <laughs> Mr. Slowbro is a pretty good mon, but I was looking at Pew. I was like, you know what? Milotic's probably not too bad. Let's lead with it this game. Let's get immediately beat down by this Embor. Actually, I think I'm leading Vileplume. Plume. <laughs> I think we got Link Vile Plume. Of course, been to join the content. Make sure we do subscribe. I'm on my way to 10k subs on the here. We just hit 8,000 subscribers yesterday. Appreciate all of you for joining me on this journey. Let's keep the train going, man. I'm leading off of Vile Plume. Like I said, I think, um, Senior Imbor is a bit of a threat. So they're off of Sylph. So this is a free sludge. They can tear steel. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, so body press him. Nah, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Sludge bomb's very free here. I think this has to Terra immediately. Oh, or they could be Psy Shock. Wow. Some good chip. Do we think this is choice? My 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 answer is yes. I, I don't know about y'all. I will just Volt Switch here. If they go into uh, Swampert, then it's whatever. I may Terra immediately and just gas that boy up. Yeah, they shouldn't have anything for him. It could be superpower, I guess, out of nowhere. That's why we're both switching. Just in case they Terra. They will not be superpowering me. I'm letting you all know that right now. That is not in the cards. No, 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 no. So do bring out Pert. The problem going for my Terra is Boar becomes a lot harder to deal with. But I think I'm okay with this. I mean, like, what do you even pivot in here, you know? So yeah, get out of here. Get fake seed flared. Get absolutely fake seed flared. And this mon's still useful for checking Sylveon too, even though I've terastalized. Pretty sure it is specs, but we've got a lot of bulk. I can go into my Noivern here at max HP, so at least take the hit a little better than normal. Oh, and you know what's great too? Since he's terrible, terrible, terrible set here, Scarf Embor. <laughs> I'm still faster. <laughs> so I don't think it's that bad of a set. It's just not going to help him, you know? So I can go into my zone here. Oh, you remember I said I took that hit okay? I freaking lied. I'm too hit KO'd. Oh, that's beautiful. My opponent swapped. What? I guess they're getting you here. I mean... I'll go Noivern. What? Okay, that's just a weird play. <laughs> Why'd you wisp? I guess I could Drake there, and then they're gonna roost again, right? It's hard in my Lodic. This is a free scald. Burn me. I dare you. Give me Marvel scale. I dare you. Dude, I really underestimated this mon's power. I saw Vileplume take nothing from Psyshock, relatively speaking, and said, yep, this is fine. Gator, can I get a burn on you? No. Oh. It's called again, I guess. Okay, this is less good. <laughs> um. Okay, good. They did let me haste, and I flip. And then go Crook. I could just Earthquake here. Oh, it lived? Man, that's so dirty. Now I have to sack Vileplume here. I literally just have to sack it to um get a KO with Helmet. I don't really lived. Ugh. A Glade. I think this is a loss. I'm gonna be honest. I gotta go Noivern here always. Glade's so bad in this matchup, too. I mean, literally, look at it. <laughs> I'll you here. No, I want to keep this at high. High HP. Zone is that type of bulk. My Lodic should take this better. It took it better, alright? Only 44, guys, instead of um, all my HP. <laughs> I am faster as well, so that is modest. I'm gonna go for Scald here. Not burning Gator was really unfortunate. Thankfully, my Scald there is rewarded. So that's good. My Lodic's doing alright this game. I'm gonna sack Zone here. Oh. Oh, they're, um, bulk up scale shot. Right. I see. <laughs> well. Alright, guys. They were, um, this set. Interesting. <laughs> so we lose game one. Happens to the best of us. 
not really gonna say a lot about that game. Um, yeah, they were double physical setup. Now you may be saying, if you had a slow bro, that would have got a lot better. You'd be right. But, trying to, I've basically, a lot of the teams I've built lately, I've been trying to experiment with non-bro. Like, I've been trying to really force it. Because, honestly, I just want to vary it up. Now, this guy's team is really stupid. And I mean that in a nice way. It's just a threatening build. You've got the semi-sun going on here. You still got Chloe. You've got this stupidly broken Pokemon. I'm only Milo. Nothing on my team really cares about my or nothing on my team really. Can't speak. Milo cares about nothing on their team. Thank you. I'm eating this. Hello. Yeah. Nice. Nice damage. Nice damage. Broad. I go Gallade here and just try to kill? I think I do. They shouldn't be Wisp, I don't think. I'm just Psycho Cutting. They were Wisp. I have never seen Solar Beam and Wisp, but okay. I guess I get rewarded for my greed. But it, in my defense, if I see Solar Beam, I'm thinking Nasty Plot, right? Because if, why run both? Now they go to their Gallade. Which I hate, because I don't have the ability to stay in here. I have to go Crook. Which worked out really well. I could tear a Poison here and Gunk Shot. That'd be funny. Oh. They forfeited. That guy, they did not like that. They didn't like that very much. I mean, they Scarf. <laughs> What's crazy, too? I didn't really like the position I'd put myself in, because Cloyster was going to come out if I killed their Gallade. So it isn't really like I got some insane, you know, pivot that was gonna give me a ton of momentum. No, 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 no. I think, arguably, I put myself in an even worse situation. Now, I had Zone. Zone maybe could have done something. The hope would, of course, be that they didn't just, like, <laughs> but go Zone. And then maybe Terra just to cover for, um, Drill Run. The hope would, of course, be that they don't decide, Hey, I'm gonna Icicle Spear you again anyway. But we come out of that with a win. I, get, um, I think Milotic's actually performing pretty adequately in these games for all it's meant to do. Just a little reminder of the set. I think you go full special bulk. You don't have to. Like, There's probably some mixed EVs that are good. But I like the speed for Sylveon as y'all saw it came in pretty clutch that first game just to be faster even though we lost. It was nice to have the at pressure. And with how bad its defense stat is anyway. I mean... Like, the reality of it is this, right? Defense is still going to get you somewhere because it helps versus things like Crocodile. I'm just not entirely moved by it. So, going to keep going. This guy's got a scary team also because, again, they're just throwing all these threats together. <laughs> I haven't been able to get rocks up in any game either, which is unfortunate. Also unfortunate I'm not Stone Edge. This game, Stone Edge Crocodile goes crazy. I actually really think Milo lead is free. Okay, well, now it's less free. Do I have to stay in here just to flip turn? I think I do. I outsped. Guys, help. I don't like this turn. I'm going Vileplume. They're not Psycho Cutting. Yeah. <laughs> they V. They are. <laughs> it's so funny. Just go for a knock. Oh, I get a KO here. I'm, I'm definitely double knocking. I don't care if I get burned. Give me that. Nice. And I've seen some people ask before why I run Intimidate on Scarf Crook instead of Moxie. I really don't think Moxie is, like, necessarily the best option on this. Especially if you go Stealth Rock. I think you're just naturally trying to take a more utility route with the Crook. So Intimidate's good for that. This good Sword Stance here, I'm actually just gonna knock. Because, okay, well... It was AV. I'm okay to get rid of that. Rocks are also finally able to be set, and it's actually really good. I'm gonna go Noivern here. They're probably not Sacred Sorting, but it's whatever. They double to this. They've got double AV. I knew this was AV once I was faster, but oh my god. Double? I'll throw up a Drake. Yeah, I mean, they have nothing to switch into Draco. They can go Gallade, but it's gonna take a lot. In 43, I mean, I two-shot it now. Their knockoff did a million, but I will be getting all of that back. I said all of that back. 
You must have misheard me. I said all of that back. I'll U turn. In a plume. Dude, this thing is max attack. Ooh, I actually get burned. It's, that's good. Look at that. Look at the Marvel skill now. All right, bro. Can we stop? Have some respect for your damn Pokemon. My Glade's kind of worthless, but I can go to it here. It's not actually that bad. I'll speed most of the remaining Pokemon they have. Do you really one-shot me? Nah, you don't. Easy. <laughs> I just know these calcs. I'll take the trade. Zone might be able to win once I get rid of Gallade. I'm gonna go Crook. Yeah, go Crook and just throw off an EQ. And they gave me Gallade, so that's the mod I wanted gone the most. Bro comes out, so I always hard zone. I'm just gonna Thunderbolt here, I'm analytic. If they go Gator for some reason, that mod super dies. And if they stay in like that, that mod super dies. And now I will Terra Grass. Guys, I should have gone for Terra Blast. What is this? Okay, good, my opponent. <laughs> Dude, what's crazy too, in the back of my mind, it's... I had this... Th I've told y'all this before. I have I have this since it becomes Pokemon, man. <laughs> in the back of my head, it's like, Terra Blast here, Terra Blast here. <laughs> Thank God they went for another DD instead of just killing me with Ice Punch. I guess they... I was gonna say they didn't have it, but definitely had it, right? My plume was weakened enough. You didn't... They, okay, my opponent choked even harder than I did. I don't even think what I did was necessarily a choke. Terra Ground Gator is not seen. It's almost always dark because you don't beat Fara- You beat Farali. You don't beat Slowbro without dark. At least not reliably. You probably still can break it, but it's going to be a lot harder. So, it is what it is, man. We take that. <laughs> Sometimes you take what you can get. Also, I know this is an aside, but- Shoutouts to all y'all that have been really enjoying the UU content as of late in general, just the other lower tier content because we've been pumping out a lot of UU. Got y'all an RE video, we'll probably be playing more PUZU. I'm just I'm glad y'all been liking it. This guy seems interesting. He almost had balance, but then there's a Torterra. Which means this could just be Rock's Torterra. It could also be Shell Smash with no hazards. Or it could be Infernape with Rock. <laughs> there's a lot of scariness to the build. I'm leaning Milo again. I really have been liking leading Melodic here. This is a free skull. Maybe they go Bro and I can fish for a burn. Unless they're Cloak. You know what's gonna suck is when we update Slowbro's um, dex set for Enyu, and Covert Cloak is now the first item. Instead of, uh, what is it, Colbert, I think, right now, or Boots? Yeah. Unfortunate, we're putting the masses onto the, the true tech. I'll take Chip on Zone. 20% is not bad. This Melodic sucks, though. Not a single burn. Gonna flip into Crook. Don't flash cannon, please. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, do I do it? Terrible play. Terrible play alert. God play. God read alert. God read alert. <laughs> if I'd gotten a burn there, man. Woo! Go my zone. This is fine. I mean, we're in a better spot now, right? I'll Volt Switch. If they go Tort, I don't even know if- I guess I can Terra versus Tort immediately to Flash Cannon. It's not bad. Because I'll be slower if they're Shell Smash, so I get the Analytic Boost. And then if they're Dice, well, y'all know how that goes. So I think it's okay. Volt Switch on the predicted zone slash- So, get a hit off on Nape. Alright. I'll take that. I have to go Crook, unfortunately. But I can go for a knock here. As he Scarf Nape. Don't you dare. Don't you dare mock punch on Scarf Nape. Alright, cool. I don't know why I didn't expect Scarf Nape there. That was a misplay by me. Very bad misplay, too. I apologize for making that terrible of a read. You're good still, because I am immune to T-Bolt. I want to keep this. I can go into zone again. It does not matter if they U-turn. Torque comes out. Now, again, this is where I'm kind of wondering, like, is Terra Blast? Uh, even Terra Blast, but just tearing the best play. I don't think I need to Terra. Let me just Flash Cannon first. I'm trying to think if I could, like, straight up not Terra right now. 
The question I have to answer is, do I have the means to win? Also, this is White Herb, so it's not- it's gonna be like Headlong Rush, Wood Hammer or something, instead of Bullet Siege, so no Rock Blast. Which is worrying, because it could be Terra Blast then. It could still be Rock Blast or Stone Edge. They're gonna Headlong Rush or EQ here. I'm going Noivern. So they do Headlong. I don't think U-Turn KOs this. Also, I'm trying to type kind of quiet when I do type. Because <laughs> I'm not um unaware that my headset, or not my headset, my mic being right over the keyboard's probably not the best. But, you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. U-Turn does not kill. Clap Drake. Yo, he's Terra Blast Ice. <laughs> <laughs> Which sucks, because it means if I go Magnazone, I might die. I have to go Vileplume and Terra instead. And I have to hope they do not go for the, um... Yeah, okay, good. I was gonna have to hope they don't go for Seed Bomb or Woodhammer here. Woodhammer would've been fine. They would've self-KO'd. This comes out now. I'm gonna go Milo to Scout. As they are Specs. I'm going to recover a few times because we know I do live these hits okay enough. Um, for flip here. Go zone. Yeah, as y'all see, I took a million. Then I can flash cannon here. They go their own zone. I do outspeed there. Mirror coat. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. I'm gonna knock the bro. Because unfortunately they are, um, what's it called? Helmet. Fortunately, I do make the read. Oh, they future sight there. I'm psycho cutting on their switch. Get out. Get a crit too. I don't know if it mattered. Glade is strong. That may have not mattered if they were offensive. Now this is the question here. I do live a hit, or I will live the future sight, but do I KO Bro and Knock? How nice we do have all the sets. Shoutouts to Jetu. Um, did that mess up the dimensions? No, thank you. Knock is only a fifth. Oh, Knock never kills. Um, I guess I could throw future sight here. Yeah, I mean, I'll easily lift that. I'll just Leaf Blade. Because, yeah, now I literally just go for another Leaf Blade. And I'm, fa I'm faster. So, if they go Bro, they get easily to it KO'd. Alright, we're chilling. Sylveon. <laughs> oh, I, I see the nickname now. Maybe if I'd seen that, I would have known. Now I just stay in a Leaf Blade. I literally don't have to stop using this move. It is the best option to keep going for. So we get a huge hit off there. And you see they're still in range. They didn't... Oh, they got a low roll. No. But that's fine. Actually... Is it better to Volt on that? A Flash. Whatever. If they Scald here, it's not a big deal anyway. I think they switch. I'm a dummy. Why didn't I just take my KO? There we go. Just take your dang KO, my. Come on, come on, man. Oh, it was faster the whole time? Oh, they're an unviable set. Get my Lodict. I think you want speed on this one, but okay, get my Lodict. Get my, get my Scald KO and dip. <laughs> Not bad, though. That was a very dumb play I made versus Nape with my Crook, though. Literally turned my entire brain off and was just like, yeah, no, don't worry, guys. I'll outspeed. No, surely he's not Scarf Nape. The only reason I live is because he was Drain Punch. <laughs> <Just> CC. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was really funny. <laughs> Alright, this guy's got Clef Key and a... Wow, this guy's team is anti-fun. Bloom could be decent, though, this game. If I get rid of their Espeon, I think Vile Bloom can win. It's still tough because they have Gallade. But there's, a, there's definitely a path to victory like that. I'm leading my Gallade. I don't think I one-shot this. I could Terra. 
But I don't want to Terra that early. There are offensive Serena. Also, look at that whip damage. I'm going for it. <laughs> they were offensive. Dude, this is why you this is why I run defensive Serena. Why am I getting one shot by Gallade? <laughs> it's so obscene, and now I get free Quake their whole on their whole team. I'm literally switching in Crocodile now and you're earthquaking. They could be magnet rise, but I don't think they are. And yeah, they switched. Plume. That is so oh my god. Dude, that is such a funny turn one. Unfortunate that they get their entire HP bar back. I could T-Bolt here. Actually, we Flash can because if they hard switch, I'll just Bolt on either of Reggie Steel or Klefki. And they probably have to go Reggie if they're switching out. Maybe Gallade's AV. They pivot that in. And then it just comes down to predictions. But I like Flashing, because if this goes for Leech Seed, I don't really want to just let it really sustain versus me. I'd rather Flash once and then, like, Volt into Noivern. To maybe bring zone back in as they leave okay well <laughs> i'll pause i guess while we wait and see if kaneto comes back be right back all right well this guy never came back so next game i would say we're facing a magna zone counter but we're really not <laughs> we're really not <laughs> he's got some threats though i'm scared of the earth ring that mon is a threat this is his ground immunity, though. Like, Crocodile... Yo, if I was Black Glass's Crocodile, I believe it won very quickly. Glade looks pretty strong, though, once again. I think I could leave Glade here. I'm gonna knock. This is an annoying turn. They stayed in. That's so disrespectful. I actually think that's such a terrible play. But I guess they didn't have a pivot. Like, you go Sylveon, what happens? Uh, I wanted to, I didn't want a Sacred Sword immediately. Because that Mon could easily tear into a Fairy type. So, I think it was better to play like this. Got a Flash Cannon here. If they go Lantern, by the way, I'm literally not going for, um... I'm literally gonna keep Flash Cannoning. I'm not gonna reveal Terra Blast yet. I'm gonna play it like I'm Specs or something, or just not... Terra Blast. So they go Lantern. Oh, it's Assault Vest? Ew. Brother, ew. What's that? Oh, I get it. My opponent doesn't respect anything. I get it now. My opponent doesn't play with any level of respect. Okay. The way they're playing it is super aggressively. So I get my rocks there. The bear is now dead to that. I'm literally just gonna go Noivern instead, because I can generate momentum with that, and I'll still check this okay. They stone edge me, good read. The body press. Interesting. I'll just Drake then. They go Noivern zone, then whatever. I U turn and we're chilling. Yeah, I mean, you go this. I really don't care. The concern would be if he's Terra Blast with like Calm Mind or something. Wish Tech to Terra Blast with. Terra ground. Go zone here. Also, though, it is nice. This will slowly be getting chipped down. So, I'll take that. They sack the Ursaring. I wish I knew the Lantern's EVs. Unless we see boots on it. Lazzle comes out. I'll go Melodic. They are toxic. I'll just flip turn, actually. This is um, Water Absorb, by the way. I think I uninstall Pokemon Showdown. Okay, he's not. Um, Vileplume, then? Because we just get Crook. Crook and Knock. Yeah, Crook and Knock. This is fine. I literally am just trying to play this slowly. To where I could eventually hit this with Terra Blast and get rid of it. Because I think zone then is like a huge threat. Double knock here is actually better, I think. Because they're definitely predicting a swap. So my opponent once again just continue that play makes no sense to me. Like I genuinely think this was a like really bad play. Because I've got both Noivert and Plume to keep coming in on you. Why are you keeping this in? 
I, I don't get it. I, I don't think my opponent knows what they're doing. That's fine. I'll sludge here. But that, that is, like, actually an obscenely bad play. No disrespect, man. But that is just not a good play. <laughs> you gotta play with a little bit more thought behind your moves, I feel. Interesting. I, I don't I don't know. I don't think my opponent's predicting anything. Which is annoying because it's working really well for them. And I don't like that. <laughs> but it's whatever. May again, maybe they're predicting me to stay in. But it's like, why? Why would you make that prediction? It doesn't get you anything. I wish I got Scald here. Scald's a little better. Like, dude, I literally have multiple Mons that switch into this. Why are, why are you making the play of staying in and doing what you did? To me, that's just illogical. There's no reason to make it. Oh, this is Rest. Maybe that's why he was playing so disrespectfully with it. Weird set, but it checks Crocodile, so, I mean, that's cool. I, I, I can't deny that this is a long-term Crook answer. If I was Magnet Pull, that'd be really good right here. Alas, this is not a Magnet Pull world. Also, these rocks are doing very little for me at this point. Yeah, why not? Just set rocks up against the team that doesn't care about them. Why not? I can't get Chip on the Lazzle. That's like the biggest issue. Oh my god. Dude, switch! Make a play! No! What's your elo, man? 1451! Okay, never mind. He's just the best. Dude, I'm so tired of this man, though. He goes back to this. Again, like I said, I just... I think he played that, um, Ursaring play fine? Because you can make that type of, um, greedy read where you're just like, they probably won't take your sword because the Terra threat, so maybe you get a KO. And trading versus Gallade was, like, actually a game-winning play for them because now I can't really do enough damage. It's that play with the Tauros that I think was just objectively a misplay. Even if it worked, you have to still be able to analyze certain risks as whether or not they make sense. They're asserting early. I hated it as a play, but it's like, that one I can't fault. The later play where I've got multiple Mons that keep coming in on this, and you're like, oh yeah, I'll body press again. It's really, I think it's overly aggressive. Now maybe he felt he had to make it, in which case, no, okay. I get what you're going for. It just feels like a like pointlessly risky play. I still feel like I could beat this team with zone. It's just the Bronzong is hard to defeat. And I literally need... I If I get rid of this, I for sure win with... Oh, um, not Sylveon. Flim. I'm gonna go zone here. Is this worth it? Because I'm literally saying I'm going zone to Volt Switch. And let's Lantern get free recovery is the problem. Okay. It turns out it's a fine play. <laughs> like, I literally just want chip on this, you know? I... Hmm. We can definitely win this. It's just gonna be really tough. I literally have to beat Bronzong down. And it's gonna take some very risky plays with Zone to get it to happen. Cause I think, I, yeah, I think literally once that one's gone, I just win with it as my last. Oh, don't you dare try and give me this one. Give me this and I think um we're also in an okay spot. I have to go Milo here, though, always, which isn't my favorite play. Because as you see how much damage this does, it's still kind of hard. It's not the end of the world, though. They just gave me Salazzle. No reason at all. Oh my god, that's so good. I think they pretty good flip. But okay, I'll take it. Lantern comes out. What? Are you protect? No, he's not. Okay. I'll go Magnazone. 
I don't even think I need to Terra. I'm li or I don't think I need to Terra my other guy. I think I Terra Zone here and Terra Grass. I think, I think that's literally the play here. So we get rid of Lantern. Okay. I think Plume Last should win. And I still, I can still beat this down, I think. Question will be, if he calm mines, then that's a problem. Okay, he tears steals. I have to sack Noivern. This mon is... Mmm. This one's still scary. I honestly think tearing there was a little greedy. It's more that I didn't go for, um... Oh my god, I actually choked my dot flash candidate. That's so sad. Oh no. Yeah, I definitely ended up choking this because I didn't go for flash cannon. Nah. I didn't think they would go for, um, Terra Steel the second turn, though. So, that was a choke by the end for me. I think they threw the battle away with the Salazzle play they made. I think that was just really, really rough. But, again, they held Terra, which... I don't know. I don't think that made sense. <laughs> like, do you lose anything by Terra immediately? I don't think so, so... Anyhow, rough game to end that on. De very rough to start it on, but... Team overall worked well, and I actually did really like Melodic through these games. I don't think I'm going to use it a ton going forward, but this type of team, where you- I call it pivot spam. There's only three pivots. <laughs> Optimally, you probably are like, Ligon over Crook, and in some other mod instead of, um, Plume. Although then it's kind of hard to find a dark type, so eh. Because it's like, oh, are you going Flygon with um, Incineroar? Probably not, because then your fighting checks are abhorrent. I guess it could be... Oh, well, no. I was going to say you could drop Incin... Or drop Crook for Incin, but no, that doesn't work either. Regardless, though, it was a fun team. So shouts to Robbia for building it. I hope y'all enjoyed. Once again, thanks for AK. Let's keep, let's keep going on this journey together. Peace.